Hello my creepy lovelies and welcome back to another cliffhanger text story. This one's called Farmhouse and it's creeping me out. Okay, let's begin. Viv says, I think some creep is following me. Jewel says, what do you mean? Some guy in a white pickup truck. Oh god, <laughs> are you sure? He's been following me for miles. Where are you? No idea. Okay, I already have a problem with this. You think he's following you, but he's been following for miles. Okay. <laughs> Just turned down a dirt road, trying to lose him. Oh, that's stupid. Is he still behind you? Don't see him yet. Who is he? Some creepy deliverance looking dude. <laughs> he was staring at me in the gas station. Hang on, gotta put on some speed. Okay, keep me updated. This pisses me off that they text while they're driving. What's going on? The good news is I lost the guy. Yay! Bad news is, I just popped a tire on a big rock. No. Now I'm waiting for a tow truck, except I don't know if I gave him the right address. My GPS has been acting up. No offense, but why does this kind of thing always happen to you? Right? I'm some kind of magnet. Oh no. What? What now? I think he's back. He's the delivery guy. <laughs> the stalker? Yep, it's that's his truck. Headed this way. Is there anywhere you can go? Gonna try to hide in this field. Hang on. This is why you need to learn how to change your own tires. Viv, are you okay? There's a farmhouse across the field. Already. Has anybody seen Children of the Corn or anything like that? Don't go in fields. Don't go down the road. And don't go into farmhouses. Oh gosh. That was gonna look so creepy. It doesn't look bad right now, actually, but, you know, in the daytime, I mean, at nighttime, it would look way worse. It's all blurry because she's running. <laughs> I'll see if I can find it on Street View. I'm going to hide there. Looks abandoned. Already I'm irritated with Viv. Kind of crawling towards it. Where's the stalker? He parked on the road. I don't know what he's doing. Can he see you? The tall grass is hiding me, I think. Viv, update. I'm here. At the farmhouse? Yeah, I think it's abandoned. You think it is. The door was unlocked. I'm inside. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, y'all. <laughs> you gotta call the cops. This is crazy. I did. Gave them the same address. I gave the tow company. So who knows? Is the stalker following you? Don't think so. This place is creeping me out, though. Better than getting murdered. J Jules, you speak too soon. <laughs> There's all these sharp, rusty things hanging from the walls. Old farm equipment type. And these paintings. They look like family portraits, but all the people have animal heads. What? Thank you, Jules. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs and see if I can see the road from a window. Maybe I can keep an eye on the stalker. Okay, don't die. Gee, thanks, Jules, because she can coldly control that. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> I can see him. He's sitting in my car. Oh, the creep. Really? Yes. Okay, he just got out. He's looking towards the farmhouse now. Does he see you? Don't think so. He's just looking up at it. Look for a gun. Don't all farmhouses have guns? <laughs> Shotguns? It's kind of stereotypical, but okay. <laughs> He's walking this way. At least hide or something. I'm gonna. Jules? I think there's a dead body here. What? I could have told you that. I just went into a bedroom and it was sitting on the bed. Oh, that's disgusting. What do you mean dead body? Okay, I understand Jules is a little freaked out, but what else can a dead body mean? It looks like taxidermy. Oh, that's creepy. Like a stuffed woman's body. Except her head is a cow's head. What the heck? Are you sure it's real? I don't know, I'm freaking out. Oh god, there's something weird on the wall. I don't wanna look. <laughs> oh god, okay, okay, oh, we're not looking for that one. It's a face. I told you Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> what is that? Is it some weird sculpture? I, I think it's real. What do you mean? I think it's real skin from a person's face. You have to get out of there. No crap, Jules. I thought she thought she was going to spend the night 
Where are you now? Bathroom at the top of the stairs. Ew. Sorry, I just imagine that bathroom is probably disgusting. I can see the front door from here, but I'm hidden. The bathtub has red stains in it. Maybe it's just rust, you hope. He just knocked on the door. Viv, you still there? Vivi! I'm in the closet now. What's happening? The farmer killed him. The farmer? What? What farmer? Killed who? This place isn't abandoned, Jules. Talk to me. Stalker knocked at the door. I hear footsteps from inside the house. This giant dude comes to the door. Oh my gosh. I think he just woke up or something. And he grabs this rusty, uh, I think it's a scythe or sith thing, off the wall, opens the door, and just into the stalker's neck. Are you serious right now? Maybe you would have been safer with a stalker. Blood everywhere. Stay where you are and don't make a sound. You're going to be okay. That's a lie. <laughs> Can you hear what's happening downstairs? I heard the door close, but I don't know if that means he's inside or outside. Seems quiet down there. Then I think you should try and get out. But you just told her to stay put. Maybe I should stay put for now, till I know for sure. You can't stay in that closet forever. This might be your only chance of... Oh gosh, don't listen to Jules. <laughs> well, he's busy. I'm nervous. There are a bunch of them. A bunch of what? Dead bodies outside on wooden posts in the field out back. Are you still in the house? Yeah, at an upstairs window. They look like scarecrows. But they're real people, I can tell. Viv, just get out of that house. There's so many of them. Focus, Viv. Where's the farmer? I see him now. He's outside. Can you get out of the house without him seeing you? His stalker is in a tree, just hanging by his feet. Ooh. The farmer is gutting him into a trough. Pigs are eating the guts. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh god, that's disgusting. Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> you have to get out of there right now. Go! I'll try. Viv is a little too calm for me. <laughs> I can hear the farmer working up there. He's singing. Are you out of the house? In field, crawling back to car. It's getting dark now. Oh dear. No, I see. <laughs> I think he's looking for me. Well, duh, he would know you're there. It's his house. I can hear him breathing. He's so close. Some buff farmer. <laughs> Why is the pictures always out of focus? Do you see that? Oh goodness. Just stay quiet. Wait for your chance to get away from him. Oh thank God. He's walking back to the farmhouse. Just keep going. You're doing great. I'm at the car. Yes. Jules, there's a note here on the seat. It's from the stalker. It says I dropped my wallet at the gas station and he was trying to give it back to me. I told you that. Oh, I told you he was okay. That's why he was following me. No way. Wallet's here too. I see headlights. The cops? Don't know. Could be someone just passing by. Should I try to flag them down? Yes, no, nah, because it might be a Jeepers Creepers thing. It might be the farmer. <laughs> Viv, update, please. Just type a letter or anything so I know you're safe. <laughs> Viv, hello, come on, I'm freaking out. Who's, oh gosh, who's this? Viv, are you safe? Are you the lady's friend? She is my friend now. Who are you? Can I talk to her, please? I said she is my friend now. Okay, jeez. <laughs> Goodbye. Then that's the end. Okay, well, you know, there's better ways to get friends, first of all. <laughs> like, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, oh God, I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry if I made anyone feel nauseous or whatever. That just disgusted me. <laughs> But I, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you next Monday for another cliffhanger text story.